Loveland Magazine TV videos are brought to you by the generous support of move to loveland.com. Hello, Loveland Magazine readers. Cassie Mattia here, and you are here right now at my table of discussions. I have two very special guests because we are celebrating National Developmental Disability Month. And if you don't know what that is, well, guess what? I have the two people right here. They're going to tell you all about it. So we have Courtney Heineman. She is the Community Outreach Advocate for the Butler County Board of Developmental Disabilities. And then we have Connie Melman, who is the Community Connection Coordinator for the Butler County Board of Developmental Disabilities. Hello, ladies. Hello, Hello. Cassie. Thank thanks. you for coming. Well, thanks for having us. We're excited to be here today. Absolutely. How are you feeling, Courtney? I'm feeling good. The famous Courtney, as you all know, she just released an op-ed. If you don't know what that is, it's an opinion editorial about what it's like to live with a developmental disability and thrive and succeed the way she has. So we're going to talk about that in just a little bit. But for a lot of you, you probably have no idea what Developmental Disability Awareness Month is. And guess what? We're going to educate you. So in the month of March, we are celebrating it. And the reason being is because in 1987, President Ronald Reagan issued a public proclamation urging Americans to provide individuals with developmental disabilities, and this is quoted, this is what he said, the encouragement and opportunities they need to lead productive lives and to achieve their full potential. Now, Connie here, she's been in this business for years. I know she doesn't look like it. Look at her, you know. <laughs> Thank you, Cassie. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> Connie, tell us a little bit more about the history of uh, Developmental Disability Awareness Month. Well, the history, like Cassie said, uh, began in 1987. And I was just thinking back today, that's the year I started in this field. I started in April of 1987. So I thought that was a kind of a strange coincidence. And the ironic thing about passing of this proclamation, it still holds true today. We still want to be supportive, encouraging, and help those with disabilities. Um, we don't want to give them special treatment, but we want to give them encouragement. We want to give a helping hand when we can, just like we do anybody else in the community. And um, it's been great every year now for the last, um, well, since 1987. How many years is that, Cassie? Yikes, I'm a journalist, so we'll just say lots of years. 36, is that 35 years? 35, 36 older years? Older than I am. Okay, Okay, not older than me. Not older than Connie. But the same age as my son. Older um, we're too. still having an awareness month every uh, month, and in the state of Ohio, we're celebrating that. And this year, their uh, theme is Be the Change. And that can be for anybody. It can be a person with or without a disability making a difference in the community. So be the change. Amen to that. And, that's, and, and the cool thing about this is that Ronald Reagan really jump-started this because in 1990, the Americans uh, with Disabilities Act was passed by George Bush. And basically that made it illegal to discriminate those with developmental disabilities. Love it. So what is this campaign about? So it's very simple, to raise awareness about including people with developmental disabilities in all facets of the community. Courtney, yes. tell us a little bit about your journey, okay? You want to throw in some history? I'm good with that. Just I want I want you to talk to the people. I mean, they want to hear what you have to say. Apparently, you're famous these days. So tell us a little bit about how DD Awareness Month makes you feel. Um, well, DD Awareness Month um, makes me feel good because um, we're letting other people know about how um, how people with disabilities uh, want to be treated and about the history of um, the, the, about the history of, like, the disability rights history, and, and, so yeah, it makes it feel good to, that we can help people learn this information. Exactly, and, and the crazy thing about this, and, and I know you guys know, you guys may not know, one in six children in the U.S. between the ages of three and 17 have a disability, okay? That's 15 percent of the U.S., so in hindsight, that's over six million Americans. So the cool thing about that is Courtney is one of those six million and she's doing something about it. She's creating change. So what I really want to talk about next, Connie, how did you get started in this industry and why? And then we're going to flash to Courtney and see, you know, how did you get that job at the Butler County Board of Developmental Disabilities? We want to talk about it. So start with, start with you. Connie? Well, I started in this field when I was in college. I did some internships. And looking back, the I guess my favorite was working with the Special Olympic athletes. And mm -hmm. I just felt that, I don't know, 
passion to, to make a difference in people's lives and it also makes a difference in my life because so much joy is brought to you. So that's kind of what how I was steered um, in doing this job and in all the years that I've been in this field I've never felt like it is a job. I have just enjoyed my work every single day and um, I just love it. You know. And your relationship with Courtney, tell us about how that started. I remember meeting Courtney one day in the hallway at Liberty Center. She was with her support coordinator at the time, Tracy, and we just met briefly. I don't know if you remember that, Courtney, but um, she was this shy little gal who kind of looked down when um, you talked to her. She didn't really focus yet, and the see the change. I want to say Courtney was maybe 19 years old then, and through all her work and working on being a better person, working on being a better um, employer and self-advocate, you know, the sky's the limit. She has really grown as a person over the last few years. And Courtney, we'll go ahead and switch to you. Now, I know in your op-ed, you kind of told us about how you were in customer service mm -hmm. and how you really recognize that the people love you mm -hmm. and you love the people yeah. and you like talking to people and you like having fun and you like telling jokes and you like educating people. So tell me what it was like to finally, which it should have been sooner, when you got your opportunity at Butler County Tell us about it. How'd you feel? Um, I remember when I, I got the call and they told me that I got the position for a community outreach advocate. I was like, I was freaking out. I was like, I got it, I got it. <laughs> so I was just like so excited and it was something that I was working for for a really long time because I had learned about um, the, through, um, through different classes and Stuff. I learned about the disability rights movement and about self-advocacy and through the Speak Up group I learned how to um, speak up for myself and, and I feel like that gave me confidence to um, to want to teach others to speak up for themselves so so the fact that I was able to get it you know basically my dream job made me really happy. Amen and then of course you know, you were, I'm sure you were nervous, just like I was. Um, I, if you guys don't know, I have been working with these two for a year now. We are in the community services department, so pretty awesome, obviously PR. And so I, I want to tell, I want to ask you, how did Connie make that transition comfortable for you? With like your relationship, you know, she, I see her all the time given, honestly, I mean, you find opportunities for her, she finds opportunities for you and you guys do it together. So tell me about that when you met Connie and how that how that went about. Yeah, um, I I feel like we work really well together, Connie, because we always I feel like we always try to like go over what we want to like if we're preparing to meet with like a legislator or somebody like that, we always kind of go over what we want to say and the points we want to make and um, just like you said, I feel like Connie's always looking for new opportunities and new ways so we can get. Um, the message out to people um, about how Butler County Board of DD helps people with disabilities. So, um, see, so yeah, I, I really enjoyed that. Well, and I love working with Courtney because she brings another um, aspect to when we're delivering a message. Back in years ago before I had Courtney, I would deliver the message or go out and talk on the topic, but who better to hear from somebody who's experiencing it firsthand? And um, probably about five years ago, I kept maybe bugging the administration to bring this role to light and I actually wrote the job description and was so excited that Courtney applied because she does a fabulous job and she's fun to work with. We're like a little duo. You know, we have chit chat with Connie and Courtney or we go out to the schools and we talk. Sometimes people think I'm her mother and that's okay. I'm really just a good friend and coworker but How long um, has she been there? Four years. Four years. In April. Okay. I was wondering. So so what I want to do next guys is I want to talk about what you both are involved in, some of your accomplishments, because I know you've had 27 million and so have you. And then next, I want you to tell the community how they can get involved. So let's talk about your accomplishments, what you're involved in, and how the community can get involved. Whoever wants to go first, I'm good with. How about the eldest? I'll go first, Courtney. <laughs> One thing that I'm really passionate about, I've been a part of Best Buddies, which is an international nonprofit that helps people with and without disabilities um, make a new friend in the community. So Speak Up is our SOAP advocacy group. Uh, we meet every fourth Tuesday of the month and we talk about uh, your rights and how to speak up for yourself and what your responsibilities are. Um, 
Also, I wanted to say that I, I just got reappointed by the, the Ohio Governor, uh, Mike DeWine, to be on the Ohio Developmental Disabilities Council. So serving on the council has been a really huge honor just to have that opportunity to help uh, people with disabilities and and advocate for the changes that the DD Council is trying to do. I stand for disability rights, accessibility, safety, community acceptance, independent living, quality of life, full and active participation in society, equal access to education and employment. And I think the, the big thing about this poster just says, you know, they just want everything that everybody has a right to have in our country, people with disabilities want that right as well. Amen. Courtney? Uh, mine, mine says, my disability will always be a piece of me, but if it's the only part of me you recognize, then you've only scratched the surface of who I am. Woo! I love it. Now, another thing that we have, we have these amazing stickers, okay? My the, favorite. The message is, I'm not special, I'm equal. Let that, let, let that sink in. Beautiful message, don't you think, Courtney? Mm -hmm. One of my things I want to say quickly is that, um, sometimes it bothers me when people use the term special needs because um, just because I have a disability doesn't mean my needs aren't special. I have the same needs as everybody else. I um, like to be as independent as I can be and to have a good place to live and just be healthy and happy. So, um, so that's what I wanted to say is that um, it's just, you know, basic human needs, not special needs. There we go. Awesome. This has been amazing. I have never been happier to have two individuals here that are not only changing the lives of so many, but has changed my life too. So what I like to do at the end of these interviews, especially the table of discussions, you can both do it. You can do it separately. I want you guys to look into the camera and say one final message to the community that you want to sink in, that you want to leave them with. It can be about DD awareness. It can be about your favorite topic language. It can be about anything. Anything you want to say, sentence or two, it, it's all you. And look into that camera because that's that's a community right there. Go, Courtney. <laughs> okay. Um, so I want to speak to anyone who has a disability or maybe is a parent to somebody with a disability. Um, just um, one thing that I know that when I was younger that I struggled with was like, I feel like I compared myself a lot to my other peers that didn't have a disability. And um, so I guess my advice is to just, um, that you don't have to feel bad about having a disability. Like I was, like this poster we have says, it's only just a piece of you, it's only just a part of you. And, and you can use that part maybe to even help other people so it, it don't don't look at it as a negative you you can maybe take what other people see as a negative and turn it into a positive Woo! and mine's just simple uh be authentic because it's okay to be you oh gosh okay dang are you you guys want to switch roles or it's up to you all right guys so you want to check out um, Butler County Board of Developmental Dis Disabilities, butlerdd.org. Um, you want to check out Courtney, guess what? It's all over the Butler DD Facebook, YouTube. She also has her own vlog, Courtney Explains It All, her first episode where she talks about language. You can catch that in our Community Connections newsletter or, like I said, on our website. Um, other than that, I am so very happy that we got to educate you here at my table, of course, about Developmental Disability Awareness Month. If anybody has any questions or wants to get involved, email me, cmatia12 at gmail.com or just hop on our website, lovelandmagazine.com and ask us anything. Comment on our photos, comment on our pictures, let us know. All right, guys, thank you so much. Thanks for having thank us. You. I really appreciate you all and uh, let's go change the world, right? That's yeah. right. All get right. after it. Heck yeah. <laughs> See you later, guys. Loveland Magazine TV videos are brought to you by the generous support of move2loveland.com.